Today, we're going to be diving into the world of HDMI audio with a comparison video of two HDMI technologies, HDMI ARC and HDMI eARC. Whether you're a casual movie watcher or a hardcore audiophile, these two technologies play a big role in how you use your media. And understanding these differences can truly level up your audio experience. So let's go ahead and get into it. What's going on guys, it is I, Larry the Tech Guy, coming at you guys with another video. I'm the owner of a tech installation business called TechWorks TV Mounting. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the differences between HDMI ARC and HDMI eARC. Let's go ahead and get into it. First off, ARC and eARC sound like something that don't really belong on a TV. So let me break down what they stand for. ARC stands for Audio Return Channel, while eARC stands for Enhanced Audio Return Channel. Basically what ARC does for your TV is instead of using an optical or a coax cable that you would plug into your TV to your soundbar, ARC removes the need for an optical cord and allows you to send audio signal downstream through a compatible HDMI socket. So the next question would be, what do I need to use HDMI ARC or eARC? When it comes to HDMI ARC, all you need is a TV that was manufactured after 2009 and an audio system with HDMI ports. When it comes to eARC, any basic HDMI cable will not do. eARC being the next generation of ARC is designed to use the most recent HDMI cables in order to get the most bang for your buck. HDMI 2.1 is the newest version of these cables that are out. Using these cables allows for a big boost in bandwidth and speed, which translates to better audio and lower latency, which is something that we all could use. When it comes to bandwidth between the two cables, eARC has a much higher bandwidth, which is the amount of data or range of frequencies that it can transfer at once. This allows eARC to support higher quality surround sound technologies and audio formats, such as Dolby Atmos or DTS. Now, when it comes to latency, eARC has virtually no lag, which is ideal for competitive gamers. When it comes to standard ARC, you will be able to get by with gaming, but gamers that have the updated HDMI eARC ports will be at a slight advantage. When it comes to HDMI ARC or eARC, these are both better options than the traditional coax or optical cable by miles. But if you want to get the absolute best sound and video quality, eARC is a must. If you're not into having the best of everything or you're just looking for a simple solution into connecting your peripheral devices to your TV, ARC will do just fine. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you guys got anything useful out of it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. Till next time guys, peace.